When dealing with causal fallacies, you try to explain a phenomenon that already exists, and you make logical mistakes in the process. But fallacies do not always correspond to explanations. They can also correspond to predictions. That's why we are, um, what we are going to talk about in this video, and it's referred as, to as the slippery slope. And we are going to talk more specifically about the causal slippery slope. The idea behind this fallacy is that a chain of related events leads to an important outcome, generally negative. So we, we can use the metaphor of the domino effect. Let's take an example related to the use of drugs, which has been repeated over and over again in the debates of a legalization of cannabis. So here is how it goes. We can't permit the sale of marijuana by doctor's prescription because that will lead people to believe that it's an acceptable drug. And this will open the floodgates to the complete legalization of the drug by every pothead in the country. Well, you see the spirit. Now, let's take an argument that involves data interpretation this time. Here is how it goes. The prediction shows that if masks tend to reduce, um, that masks tend to reduce significantly the probability to catch the coronavirus. Therefore, if you don't ask the whole country to always wear masks when going outside, it's likely that the virus will spread quickly and that most people will catch the virus and half a million people will die. That is a fallacious argumentation. Of course, it does not hurt to ask people to wear masks, but this slippery slope tends to focus their attention of a single, on a single factor and to misleadingly create a direct link between wearing masks and successfully defeating the disease. Many other factors could cancel out the efficiency of masks if people do not know the right gestures or how to interact with people or how even to manipulate their masks. The way people manage their hands, know how and what to wash them, know what is safe to touch and what is not, like dog knobs. This could be one of the things that actually also make the difference at the scale of country. So no, you cannot imply that the small difference that you witness uh, with masks implies that the whole country should wear masks, rig uh, well, should focus on mask wearing. Um, I, I actually, I'm not saying you should not, I'm just saying you should not use it as a single factor. And um, it's probably better to avoid oversimplifying reality uh, that, uh, than to invent unlikely chains of events to support a claim. Otherwise, people will sometimes forget other important aspects of the, the problem.